No more 10-hour jam sessions for the drummers in Zuccotti Park. Responding to complaints from within the Occupy Wall Street movement, as well as the local community, the drummers agreed to limit their playing to four hours, from noon to two, and then from four to six. In the beginning of this movement, people were drumming from 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock in the evening, nonstop. So that had a stress factor for some people here, and some people just didn't want that much drumming. You know, I understand the community's needs as well as the people that live here needs. So we were thinking, you know, 12 to 2, 4 to 6, middle of the day, two hours, two hours of straight drumming, that's really good, you know, no matter what. As long as I could get like four hours of, as a drummer, I'm satisfied, everyone's satisfied. With some protesters grumbling about sleepless nights, Occupy Wall Street's General Assembly originally sought to keep the drumming to just two hours a day. But musicians formed a work group called Pulse, which pushed for twice the time. We bring so many people to this movement that don't even know about it. I talk to random tourists who come up to me and they're like, what is this? I'm like, it's the Occupy Wall Street movement. They go, oh my, like this is this. Like we heard the drums and we're interested. Not all the drummers are happy with the compromise. I don't like the schedule at all. The way they made us move, the time from what we had. Because without sound, there is no life. And without life, there's no people. And without people, there's no protest. But other members of Occupy Wall Street think that it's for the best. It is nice having a break from it every once in a while because after a while it does get kind of monotonous. But overall, yeah, I don't have any complaints with it. If anything, they're doing a lot of good. They're giving us more publicity than we would have had otherwise. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.